Okay, this tutorial is uh, in regards to the Liberty High School Curricular Resources website and it's really the first video in regard to listing courses on departmental web pages. So um, the scenario is that uh, Liberty High School is undergoing um, or putting together a uh, resource website for uh, digital resources for each course for every unit of each course. So the way this is broken down um, to make it easier for you to find these things is um, each department was actually given its own website and um, this website here, this sites.google.com backslash a backslash basdschools.org backslash LHS curriculum is really the home page um, for all of these where everybody can come and get back to uh, home. Um, and there will probably be, um, in addition to instructions on how to upload resources, some other things listed here as well. Um, for the, the overarching uh, curricular resources area. However, when you go to a tab, uh, every department has their own tab. Um, it's actually um, its own little website. English has its own. Um, so uh, it's divided so that um, English people who are in the English department have permission to um, upload and make changes here, um, whereas the math people may not. Uh, they would have the ability to view things, um, but not um, upload and make changes. Um, so basically, here's uh, what has been done already. Um, all the departments have been given a web have been given a website. And then there's a main page for that department. When you open up, say when you click on English, you get the listing of all of the courses. And this is taken from the program of studies and there may be courses that aren't listed here or they're in maybe an order that doesn't make sense. Um, this is where the uh, people in the English department are going to come in and help with this. So uh, this is probably part of the easiest part of uh, the whole website itself is this listing page. So if you have permission to edit, uh, you're going to see this pencil icon. These icons actually um, up above. Um, if you don't have these icons above, that means you do not have permission to edit. If you should have permission, please contact me. Um, my email is ezundel at bethsd.org uh, and I will look into getting uh, your permissions rectified. So it's very much like a wiki that you click on the pencil or the edit button and then you're given controls, um, some text controls and some formatting controls. So here you may look at the courses and say, oh, um, we don't have Honors English 9 listed. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, let's see, I'm going to clear the formatting. Okay. And it picked up a little bit of the formatting there, so you could see that I could highlight the text and go up and choose a type of font, and you're kind of limited here. Um, I used what was normal for uh, this um, template that we're using, and then I could adjust the size and make it bold, unbold it. So there I have added the Honors English 9. It should have been there. It was not and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so that's it basically. Um, you do have uh, the ability to type um, other courses here. You probably want to keep them um, 
aligned with bullet points. It makes it easier to read. Uh, but by all means, please make sure that this order makes sense to your department. And that's it for this tutorial.